Good day everyone. First of all, my name is Ero Jim C. Calamino from Rizal National Science High School. And today, I'm going to show you how to convert the vertex form or the general form of a hyperbola to its standard form. Okay, let's get started. First of all, the general form of a hyperbola is written as this. AX squared minus BY squared minus CX plus BY minus F equals to zero. And we will convert this equation to its standard equation where as shown in here. And X minus H squared over A squared minus Y minus K squared over B squared is equals to one. Um, in, a hyperbola, in a hyperbola, we can already determine that an equation will result to a horizontal or vertical hyperbola by looking at the numerator's variable at x and y. And when the x variable is replaced before the y variable, the opening of the graph of the hyperbola is horizontal. While when the x variable is right after the y variable, the opening of the graph is vertical. Okay, given the equation x squared minus y squared minus 2x minus 4y minus 7 equals to 0, we can already distinguish that this equation is a hyperbola by looking at the preceding variables, the x and y, when the x is being subtracted to y, this means that the equation is a hyperbola. First thing we must consider in transforming or, or converting this equation to its standard form, we must look for the we must put together the same like terms, which is in this given equation was x squared minus 2x, then open and close parentheses. We must leave a blank here for the perfect squared trinomial and negative y squared open and close parentheses minus 4y give a blank also then we need to transpose the given constant the other side which give us positive 7 right there yes. then up next we will perform the completing the square where we will get the half of this so divided by 2 then was negative 1 then we get the square of this which will become 1 then we will add this to the other side and for the other term um, get the half of this negative 2 squared 4 okay next we will make it as a binomial term which give us x minus 1 squared minus um, y minus 2 squared oops I forgot to add the squared of 2 multiplied by negative 1 to here so it becomes negative 4 it equals to 7 plus 1 minus 4 it will give us the value of x minus 1 squared minus y minus 2 squared equals 7 plus 1 8 minus 4 become 4 then after that this number should be equated to 1 so we need to divide it by 4 also the other side by 4 also the other side by 4 okay that will give us the equation um, x minus 1 squared over 4 minus y minus 2 squared over 4 equals 1. Okay. And that ends our lesson. I hope you learned. Thank you.